Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how my company scaled a new offer to $7,000 cash collected, about $10,000 in contract revenue in half a month. And since then, how we've been using the same system to drive high ticket sales for our agency every single month and even have a few $3,000 plus days for our business. Now, this works best if you have these three things here. One is a working offer and previous clients. So you're not a complete beginner. You have clients before, even if it's two or three clients, you have served clients before and you know that your service actually works. Two, and this one is probably the most important one right here, is that you have a niche. So you have a set of people that you serve or you have a specific service that you do. So you either serve just realtors and do a bunch of stuff in that regard, or you do Facebook ads, that's like your service niche, is what I like to call it, and you do it for a bunch of other people. So as long as you're really focused on one thing, on the service side or the people you're targeting side, that is what works best for the funnel I'm about to break down. And finally, you have some type of following social media or email list. Now it's hard to launch an offer and collect you know, a good amount of cash in the first few days or two weeks in this case, if you don't have any type of following. So I'm assuming a lot of people have an email list. This is something you have to be building. Obviously you have to be building a social media presence, but that's for another video. Now I'm going to go over an overview and then a four-step process of how you could actually implement this in your business. And I'm going to go over free resources at the end that you could claim that will help you along in your journey. If you have any questions about this stuff, let me know. I have dozens of videos I'm going to make. And I'll happily make a whiteboard breakdown for you. This can be very, very surface level stuff. So the overview here, is that you're gonna be posting targeted YouTube content and you're gonna have a few call to actions. One call to action is going to be Instagram, two call to action is gonna be opt-in and three is going to be uh, the website, which I did not include because that is pretty uh, basic. Now, the opt-in is what I'm gonna cover first. This is super important. Opt-in is essentially, you're putting an opt-in page, you're giving people some value and they're giving you a contact, right? That's how we build this email list or SMS list, right? You can go down below and check out mine. It's a 72 page free document on our AI content funnel, which is basically what we call this. Um, and that's the value exchange. If you want that, it's an amazing document. It'll help you sign clients through content and with AI, but you have to give me your email. That's the catch, right? I think it's a pretty fair trade on both of our ends. And that's why it works so well. That's converting around 40% right now for an opt-in page. That's pretty good. Now, after they go to the opt-in page, they go to the VSL page. And the goal of the VSL page is for them to book in a call. All right. Now that's one call to action. Number one, two is Instagram DMs. Now, Instagram is huge because the one thing YouTube lacks, and I love YouTube, I'm about to cover that in a second. YouTube does not have a conversational native feature to the platform. There's no DM features on YouTube, but Instagram has that and they're really, really good at it. I love Instagram. I've closed multiple deals in Instagram. I've closed probably or set many, many sales calls in Instagram DMs because you can send voice notes, videos, pictures, you could type, you could text. Uh, it's really just conversational and very, very personal. All right, so two is if you have any questions, and I'm telling you guys this as well, as well as you know, basically how the funnel works because you're in the part of the funnel right now, is if you have questions, DM me on Instagram, I answer all my DMs. And truly, I answer all my DMs. I have never missed one. If it's a valid question and you're not pitching me on something, I will answer your question, all right, every single time. And that's one part of the strategy, but two is social proof. So I just cover DMs. Two is social proof. This one is massive. If you guys go over to my Instagram and click on client wins, you could scroll for days through client wins. I post client wins pretty much every other day when we have them inside our program and the service that we're selling. And this is huge because people are constantly hit with, okay, Shaz is good at what he does. Shaz is good at what he does. He gets results. He gets results. So people over time naturally know I'm good. And whenever it's time for them to work with me, they just give, give me a DM. I set them on a call and then, you know, we have that conversation about working together. All right. And again, the final destination is book a call. So people go to my Instagram, they DM me over time, over time, they see my social proof, DM, social proof, DMs, boom, they book in a call. Now we have email nurture. So let me just clear all this stuff really quickly. Email nurturing is super important. Something we just started implementing. I wish I did it sooner, but you know, um, better late than never. Now, opt-in. When you collect an opt-in, you get an email and email nurturing is huge. My call to actions in the email are, funny enough, to book a call or DM on Instagram, which ends up booking in a call. All right. So I can't go wrong with sending people to Instagram. Obviously, you know, probably pro marketers will tell you to send people to one place. I like Instagram because I'm building a following and I'm building uh, connections with the people that follow me and are interested in working with me. So email nurturing is huge. The two goals are to send people to book in a call or to Instagram. All right. So that's the overview of the funnel. Now, why YouTube? YouTube gets conversions and YouTube, this is huge, does not have to be a long game, depending on your niche. We work with a lot of AI agencies and help install our AI content funnel, which is our marketing system. And we're just seeing crazy results. I mean, Ali and Mert, we onboarded these guys probably uh, about a month ago now. And with their first video that we posted for them right here, they booked in three sales calls with their first video. Nick as well, he's also in the AI space. In 38 days, he grew from 66 subscribers to over 1K subscribers. These are fast results. 38 days is not long to basically 20 extra subscriber growth. He's almost at 2K subs now. Um, so, I mean, this stuff works and YouTube, 
I know you've been taught this. It does not have to be a long game. In most cases, it is, but I get that. But if you post the right type of stuff and you post really targeted content mixed with some viral content as well, which I'm about to break down, you could see results really, really quickly. So YouTube is a platform. I'm in love with YouTube. That's the best place to be. Now, I'm going to go over if you're on other platforms in a second. Now, YouTube solves for the content funnel. If you're not aware of the content funnel, you should be. Top of funnel, middle of funnel, bottom of funnel. This is how this stuff works. Top of funnel is broad reach and eyeballs. Think about viral content. Middle of funnel is educating your audience so they can take action. Bottom of funnel is turning those educated audience members into clients and calls. And obviously, you get the fun part, which is money, and you do whatever you want with that money that you make in your agency. All right, YouTube solves for every single one of these pieces of the funnel, every single one. All right, now, if you're saying, well, I don't have a YouTube channel, but I have a LinkedIn following, or I have a Twitter following, or I have an IG following, or a TikTok following, great. Start a YouTube channel and send these people to, uh, to YouTube ASAP, like really, really quickly. It's getting harder and harder by the day to grow a following on YouTube. It's still early. I'm telling you, you're still early because a lot of people think about YouTube as, okay, I'm going to get a bunch of followers or a bunch of subscribers and I'm going to get AdSense. No, we don't need AdSense. I'm not even monetized and I'm going to make close to six figures from YouTube. I'm not even monetized, right? I just get sales calls, leads. I post high intent targeted content so I could bring high ticket clients to my business. So if you're on these platforms, awesome. Keep posting there, but slowly start to incorporate YouTube into the mix. Now that is an overview of the funnel. If you have any questions, please pause, drop a comment. And then continue to watch, I will answer that comment. Or again, drop me a DM on Instagram and I can help you out. All right, now, next step one through four on how we could actually go ahead and start implementing this funnel. Again, I have some free resources for you guys at the end. Step number one would be to start posting ASAP. Again, I'm not gonna hammer this home too much more, but you have to post on YouTube and you have to start as soon as possible. All right, it does not have to be a long game like the stuff I just showed you. People are getting crazy results within the first video they're posting, which is insane. So please start now. The more you post, the more odds you have of booking and sales calls, growing and following and making money from these social media platforms. All right, then establish your Instagram. I don't care if you don't have anything. I don't care if you have nothing on your Instagram, you're starting from new. Just establish a clean profile, literally just copy my, my Instagram profile, make sure it's your face, make sure it's a nice background, nice bio, telling people you know what you do, who you help, your results, stuff like that. And then start posting short clips, really short clips, even use an AI platform, even though I highly recommend against using those AI platforms, I don't think they look good. Use those AI platforms, get some content out there and start building a YouTube presence and send that traffic back to YouTube. All right. And all you're going to be doing on YouTube is leveraging stories and a DM. I don't care if five people are watching the stories, post on those stories. All right. Client wins, stuff you're working on, like people relate to that stuff. All right. And then DM people, DM everyone that follows you. I try to DM every single person that follows me to build a relationship. All right. So those are the first thing you're going to do, build a YouTube presence and then start building an Instagram presence as well. And then build out a very, very, very simple version of this. If you're really struggling with calls right now, then don't even worry about this. Just drive all the people straight from YouTube and Instagram to your book a call funnel or just to your calendar, excuse me. Literally just have a Calendly link and put people on that Calendly link or send people to that Calendly link. All right, now if you have good lead flow and you wanna do something a little more advanced with the lead magnet and you wanna collect emails and stuff, then set up an opt-in in the VSL page. That'll be a whole nother video that I'll cover. All right, that's step number one is just set up a very basic infrastructure. It does not have to be perfect, all right? It does not have to be perfect. Just set up all the moving pieces so you could go ahead and start doing the next few steps, which is testing, iterating, getting feedback, etc. all right? And then also, really good hack for you guys is I saw my calls go up like crazy when I position my Calendly call as a free strategy call, all right? Even if you go down below, you can see you could claim a free strategy call with me. This just gets more people on that call, and if you're good at sales, then you can close more people and have better conversations. Next is step two, which is acquiring feedback, a really underrated portion of YouTube and social media in general is feedback. If I post a video and I post two videos in, in different niches, say it's five AI use cases for this niche, five AI use cases for that niche, and that niche, this video did better. Okay, there's probably more demand for AI in this space. Maybe I should move into that. Maybe I should get feedback from them uh, before I make this video and you know not do as well with my service. So basically what I'm trying to say is this will give you feedback. Any type of eyeballs, every single metric is feedback, right? Uh, I want to highly emphasize that the algorithm does not hate you. If your videos don't do well, you fucked up. You did something wrong. It's on you, right? The title was bad. Thumbnail was bad. Idea was bad. The hook was terrible, all right? If your videos don't do well, it was on you. It's on you, and it's okay. You have to improve. You have to keep on getting better, all right? Now, if the video does well, great. Double down on that video. Double down on that video. Double down on that video. It's one of the biggest things I see, um, and I made this mistake for a long time. If something works, like, oh, yeah, let's... Uh, I'm on a heater right now. Let me try to reinvent the wheel. Let me try to do this and that. No, make that same video from a different angle because it's working. All right, so double down on what's working. Um, and basically the feedback loop for you guys that can't really visualize it is you post, if it does bad, okay, you go back to the drawing board and you post again. Does bad, okay, 
post again. Oh, it did good. Okay. Hmm. Let me double down on that idea. Let me double down again. Let me double down again. Oh, it didn't do well this time. Okay. Back to the drawing board. And then, you know, you keep on going. So that's sort of um, the process of thinking through, you know, posting on these platforms, specifically YouTube. You have to go on YouTube, guys. And then finally, for the Calendly link, see who's booking in calls. When you start posting on YouTube, you will book in calls. You will. I promise you. You will. All right? Unless you're in some insanely obscure niche, I'm telling you, YouTube is the biggest search engine. People will book in calls with you. Now, take note of who is booking in calls, what is their niche, what is their revenue, what are their pain points, and then use this stuff right here to start making better content and then see if that content works. So if you're getting a bunch of sales calls, and I noticed it, I got a bunch of sales calls for realtors or from realtors. I have so many conversations. I've signed multiple deals in the real estate niche. I started making more real estate content because people were booking in calls from real estate, right? Just put two to two together and make it easy for yourself, right? Stop making it so hard. So that's number two is listen to the analytics and acquire feedback. Step number three, once YouTube is established, and I mean consistency, not following, then we're going to do the following. Now, th what this means here, this is super important. When I say once YouTube is established, that does not mean you have a big following. That does not mean you even have 100 subscribers. That means you have a system in place that makes sure you post every single week or whatever your metric is, two times a week, every five days, whatever it is. I recommend every five days, every three to five days, uh, post on YouTube. Once you establish that, then we can move on to this step. You don't necessarily have to get a following because over time, if you're doing it right, YouTube will grow. But just make sure you have a system in place that is established and then move on to this, all right? Please do not move on if you establish a system to post on YouTube because you get way far ahead of yourself and then this stuff's gonna mess up YouTube production and then it's not gonna work, okay? So make sure you dial in YouTube. Then you're gonna explain it to other platforms and bring traffic back to YouTube, all right? So say you have a following on some of these platforms, great. Take the following there and then send it back to YouTube, all right? Send it back to YouTube, send it back to YouTube. And the way we're gonna actually go ahead and repurpose, this is part of what we offer for our clients, is we're gonna call our AI content infrastructure. This is it taking YouTube, and you can see it right here, taking YouTube, repurposing it into different platforms right here, these written platforms and short form platforms, and then we redirect traffic back to YouTube, and that books in a call. And on the other hand, if you optimize these profiles you're repurposing to, those also book in calls, all right? So you're just having a bunch of attention, and you're having this AI ecosystem or AI content infrastructure work on your behalf 24-7 for you and booking in calls for you, all right? And again, we're repurposing from YouTube down and then giving that traffic back to YouTube, and all of these platforms are working to book and calls with you. Now, you don't have to be on every platform. If you work with us, we'll pick the platforms that are best for you. And we'll do testing on your end, but please do make sure that you're repurposing to gain more eyeballs because YouTube might not get a lot of views, but they're better views. These other platforms will get a lot of views um, that you can send it to YouTube and help sort of nurture people. All right, so that is step number three. And then finally, step number four, again, we have these free resources in a second, which I'll get into how they can help your journey. Step number four is you have to understand views do not equal clients, right? So I could get 1 million views. I could get Mr. Beast views on my videos. This video could blow up. And if I did not create it right, I will get zero sales. And I will never make that video again. I don't care about being famous. I care about scaling my agency and making money so I can do whatever I want. All right? That's what I want to do. So if I get a million views and I get no sales calls, no leads, I, I really could care less. All right? So views do not equal clients. Please understand that. Some of the biggest creators in the world might be struggling to make money because views do not equal leads, do not equal sales calls. This is stuff that happens behind the views that actually gets the leads. All right, so leads, sales calls, clients, all this stuff um, is our goal. So we wanna turn content into all this stuff right here. And again, uh, sometimes if you're not doing it right, this will not happen. And we're gonna solve for this through conversion mechanisms. Opt-ins, VSLs, landing pages, email nurturing campaigns, newsletters, automations, all this stuff is not applicable off the bat, but you have to have all this stuff in place if you wanna to get to those bigger uh, numbers and then take all the content and turn it into leads, sales calls, clients, et cetera, all right? Because think about it like this, and this is a sad thought. You could probably, you probably have had, if you're posting content online, you probably had at least 50 to 100 people come across your channel and want to buy from you, excuse me, I don't know what I hit, and want to buy from you, but you didn't have this stuff right here dialed in, so, they didn't take action, so you lost out on a lot of money, all right? That is sad, we don't want that to happen. So again, when we work with our clients, we actually solve for this, and this is just a sneak peek of what we do, so you could copy and try to do it for yourself. First of all, we audit what they're already doing. Do they have a website? Do they have a landing page? What are they doing? And we give them templates, landing pages, VSLs, book a call funnels, et cetera. Then backend automation templates, opt-in workflows, call show up workflows, email nurture sequences. Again, we wanna get people on calls, and views are great, so the first two steps here are you get views here, views here, and then we turn those V views into clients, which we turn into money. That is why conversion mechanisms are so important is because you can get all the views in the world, but again, you don't get clients, it does not matter. Then those views 
basically just they don't mean anything, right? And you're wasting out on a lot of money. Now, free resources I have for you guys here. One is we have a 72 page free document down below describing the AI content funnel, which is basically what I just described, basically how it works, how you can implement it, the best social media to post on based on your situation, et cetera, et cetera. It's all down there. Two is a demo call with me. So if you have a business in the B2B space or even coaches or solopreneurs, you hop on a call with me. If you're already posting content and not seeing the results, we can help you get to the next level with conversion mechanisms and AI. And then finally, DM me on IG with questions. I answer all my questions there and I'll be happy to answer yours. Please do DM me if you have a question. Probably the only creator, one of the only creators that actually answers all their DMs and tries to be as useful as possible. So if you have any of uh, questions about this stuff, just let me know. I will see you on Instagram. Hopefully I see you on that demo call or claim that free resource down below. It took me a while to make it, so I want people to see it. If you have any questions on this, guys, I will see you on my Instagram DMs or leave a comment and I will see you in the next video. I highly recommend you watch this one next and I'll see you there. Take care.